Hello my fellow spuds and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid with Logan Stone. So I'm in, well you can't really see where I am because of the, <laughs> because of everything. I'm in a little house which is basically in the centre of town. So I looted this just off camera. I haven't done a huge amount. I basically shipped everything back, came across to here. I went into the bar opposite the road and basically all it had in it was loads of flour. And that's basically all I've done. So in here is everything that I've looted. The most amazing thing though is I found two bleach in this one building which means that we have enough bleach bottles to actually make another gas can which is incredible. We've also got all this other stuff, we got lots of door hinges, we got loads of garbage bags, a couple of bits of wine, Pride and Prejudice, the audiobook just as you do, uh, a cat toy, <laughs> a yellow paint which is exciting because I think we've already got some red paint. I think I saw some in when I put stuff away in the trailer. So that should mean that we're able to make orange paint which hopefully means that when we get to level five in tailoring we should be able to make the spiffo outfit finally which is really exciting but this is where we are currently so this is this is the first house that we came to so we're going to have a look at these houses here i want to keep finding the gourmet revolution books i don't really know why they're not spawning in bookshops because i was under the understanding that they did but we we should hopefully be able to find some here there and everywhere anyway hopefully we can find some in kitchens and stuff like that but anyway that's, um, let's just go through and see if we can find some uh, interesting bits. So we've got some potatoes in here, which is exciting. Can we, what can we harvest? We can harvest corn. Seed-bearing corn. Ah, look at that. Annoyingly, we're going to have to find enough of them to, be able to actually make the seed packet so that we can read it, so we can plant them. But it's still very cool that we've actually got some corn. I think you can make, um, yeah, we need to look on my magazine six to make some corn flour. I thought you could make oil from corn. Maybe not, maybe you need a special special item or something to go along with it. Not entirely sure. Got some more vinegar as well. We're going to have to jar so much stuff. There's another car down there, which is exciting. Another standard type battery. Take it. Let's keep going around then, see what we can find. It should be clear around there. I need to loot basically a couple of houses around here. Oh. What is going on here? Um... I didn't kill any of them. That was weird. Like I haven't, I haven't been in here and killed any of them. That wasn't me. There's a load of dead bodies in the garage. That's odd. Oh, we might have to start placing these radios, testing them, and then taking them apart because we don't have the capacity to keep holding them. Let's go around here. There's another garage there. We are getting a bit tired, so I'm going to have to rest up for the night at some point. Roof lights. Still don't really know what they do, but I'll take it. Chain. Sure, I guess. Step up for tuning. I guess that's for the battle bus or the Atelier one. Okay, we've got some boxes there. Anything up there? No, looks like this is the edge of town. Fine, okay, let's go through these, see if there's anything else. Then we'll jump in this house, we'll go to sleep. We'll explore the rest in the morning, um, at which point we will basically go back to the APC, just grab it, go grab the, uh, the trailer, and we will head off back home. I think that's a that's a decent plan. Small metal sheet, thread, take the thread. Stay in the back room, I think. It's probably the best option. Eat the corn, eat the corn. And then we'll sleep. I'm slightly worried about our onion plants back home. I'm worried that they're going to be dying. Um, I don't really want them to die, so we kind of have to hurry up. Okay, so this is the last street. Okay, there's one of those houses, so they might have some interesting loot in them. It looks like there might be another propane tank there. Now, there was quite a few zombies there by the look of it last time. A little bit nervous about that. Okay, it looks like fairly basic stuff. Rock gods, I'll take that. Uh, duct tape. Uh, Shall we check the kitchen? To probably go upstairs. I'm just slightly worried about zombies. And tuna and peas, always good to get more food. Milk powder. We found so much milk powder. I'm really glad because we're never going to run out of milk now. Not that we ever really used milk, but now it means that we uh, basically have to have it forever now. Um, I'm not even going to bother searching the rest of it because there's never really much else useful apart from what's in the kitchen. That propane tank is the only other thing I think that might be worth my time. Right, remove propane tank. This is heavy, that's the only problem. Yeah, it's just a heavy load. As long as we stay fairly full, we'll be okay. Right, anything in here? A couple of bits and bobs, but nothing really significant. Locked. Nothing in there, great. Might as well just have a quick look. Uh, map, just as a uh, decoration piece. I think that's pretty much it, to be honest. I don't think there's much else to really explore in this town. So the other thing I did off camera is basically if I saw any corpse or anything, I basically took apart their clothes. So it won't be long. We just need to destroy like 16 items of clothing and we'll be up a level. So actually there might be enough just on the ones that are down here. So let's just take apart the clothing on these ones. And hopefully that will mean that we can level up. There we go. 
Uh, was that basically exactly enough? Yeah, bar like one thing. Cool. We're getting there. We've got the paint. We've got the cotton balls. We sh we're getting there to be able to make our Spiffo suit. <laughs> Which is... Oh, it's just so weird that my goal in life in this is to get a Spiffo suit and sit drinking a cocktail. Right, after all that, we are done. So, we've got a few comic books. We've got some yarn that I got from ripping up some, um, like, woolen jumpers and stuff. Which is cool, because we didn't actually look at that before. But we can knit things. We need some sturdy sticks which can make ourselves kind of like knitting needles. But then that means we can knit hoodies and things and we can make sweaters. So it's when it gets to winter, we we can be warm. That's uh, let's walk back to the APC. And after that, we'll go from there. Okay, we're nearly back at the APC. And we're actually getting a bit tired. Um, I think, uh, should we stop off? Uh, let's walk down to the one with the greenhouse. We can pick some produce and then go to sleep in that building. I think that's a plan. Right, here we go. Uh... Harvest some of the tomatoes then. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Right, shut the door. We'll go upstairs, go to sleep. And in the morning, well, not in the morning, in a few hours, we will uh, press on. It's actually fairly late now. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll move the APC across and then we might just have to spend the night in town or something. Right, here's the road. Hopefully the APC is just here. There it is. I'm guessing what we need to do is find a road going that way. And that should hopefully lead to the trailer. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this one leads there. Right, there's a little path. Maybe that's it. Oh, and there's this... I think this is the road that we went down initially. Okay, so hopefully we should arrive just at the entrance of town, like, now. Now? There we go. Yeah, okay, fine. Right, at least we know where we are now. And we should just be able to go straight up here. And where's the trailer? There it is. We should just be able to go straight up to the trailer, connect it up, and we'll be good. There we go. Boom. Okay, trailer's attached. Excellent stuff. Chuck them away, chuck them away. It's too late to be able to see anything, so let's just get, get into this house here, and we'll go to sleep. We have checked this place out. We do, do we have a frying pan? I swear we've got a frying pan. We can make corn tortillas. We just needed uh, corn flour. Oh, I should have saved some of the corn then. That's sad. Okay, well, next time we find some corn, I need to I need to remember to do that. Right, uh, let's go into a room, just go to sleep. Right, it's the morning. Let's head off. We're going to take an APC on the road. Everything's going to be fine. We're not going to die horribly. <laughs> that's, the, that's the plan. Slightly worried about all these trees, though. Um, might need to cut down a couple of these trees. Right, here we go. Should be able to just turn around. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you, APC. You can haul this trailer back to base. You're going extremely slowly, but it's fine. It's all good. Is it because of how heavy the <laughs> how heavy the trailer is? Probably. Right, we're on the road now, so that's fine. We just don't seem to be going very fast at all. You know what? It's it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I, I hope it's fine. <laughs> we're going about max twenty. Um, isn't great. Oh, I'm sure I'm sure we'll cope. It was definitely worth the trip. We've got a lot of useful stuff that we can keep ourselves occupied for a while. The problem is just we're going to have to avoid all the zombies. And if we run into a horde and we have to run them over, we're probably going to slow down too much and we're going to be screwed. We seem to be coping okay, though, for the time being. Right, and then it was down here. I wonder if it's the wheels or something. I wonder if something's wrong with the APC. It did get damaged quite a lot. I need to I need to inspect it when we stop next. But hopefully it should be able to get us there. Even if it maxes out at 30, we should be okay. Oh, this is what I was afraid of. Yeah, because look how slow we're going. Why is it so slow? It must be the weight of the, in the trailer. I can't think of another reason. Uh, there's lots of zombies coming. I was just thinking we could stop and have a look at our at the condition. We should have time to at least inspect the condition. Trunk is at 5%. The headlights are all meh. Everything else should be alright, though. Yeah, it just seems to be that this is the max speed it will go. Uh, so I'm presuming that's just because of the weight of the trailer. I mean, that's fine. It's a heavy trailer. We might need to just look out for some um, a more heavy-duty hauler, then, if that's the case. Right, well, we're back on the other side of the bridge. Annoyingly, we're attracting all the zombies back into this town, so we're probably... If we come back to this town again, we're going to have to fight a lot of them. But it's uh, eh, it's not the end of the world. Um, I did actually test out the container down there from KI5's mod. It works perfectly fine. I don't know what was going on. I don't know whether it just needed a mod update or something from a different mod. But it works perfectly fine now. 
Um, if I wasn't having zombies chase me, I, I would show you it because it is incredibly cool. All right, it's not that much further. Well, it is. It's, it's, it's very much further, but we're past the worst of it now. I mean, if I have to, I'll, I'll uh, detach the trailer and we'll go, but it just seems a massive waste. Things we've got a lot of propane and stuff in there. It's going to be a long, painful drive back. That's all it's going to be. <laughs> Come on, little APC. You can do it. Get us home. I'm glad we got all this propane, though, because this means that metalworking will be a massive... It'll just be a cinch. We can just basically go around deconstructing all the metal that we can find from everywhere on the mainland, get our metalworking up to a decent level, at which point we'll be set, because metalworking is the hard thing to get up, really. We're actually getting a bit faster. Oh, good. Thank God. It's just taking a while to get up that fast. Fine. As long as we don't hit anything, and there's no hordes in the road, we'll be fine. Right, okay, we're nearing the bridge. Here we go. So we've, we've got past the worst of it. There was quite a lot of zombies around this area, though, which is slightly worries me because of how slow we're going and how loud this engine is. It might attract the horde to the gas station, in which case we're going to have to fight our way out. All right, we're getting there. It's not that bad. We're oh, God. Okay, we hit one. Oh, that took off like 10 miles an hour. Oh, we hit another one. Okay, we're fine. See, look at all of them. If we pull all of these back to the gas station, we <laughs> we don't really have a chance. And they are slowly drifting further and further up as it is, so, uh, yeah, I'm worried about what might happen. Hopefully they lose sight of us if we go around the tree line. Okay, I'm going to have to go the long way around and hope it distracts them all. I'm worried about all the, all the zombies that are going to come our way now. Uh, we're going to need to be quick. Uh... I'll just, I'll just take an assortment of stuff, and then we'll uh, we'll go to the boat. Everything will be fine. Right, okay. It's been a little while. It's basically been a whole day. I have gone back to the boat a couple of times with some of the bits and bobs. I've taken out as much as I basically can. Uh, I'm going to have to leave some of the paint. I'm going to have to leave the antique oven until I come back again. Uh, most of that needs to stay behind anyway. In here, I've basically taken out everything. Uh... Again, it would be nice to be able to take that propane tank, but it might be nice to keep one spare in here anyway, just in case if we want to do some metalworking on the mainland. I've left these because they're for the Atelier ones, and we don't need them as yet. So I'm sorry about the darkness, but it's uh, I want to get back as quickly as possible, and I don't really want to sleep. So that's just a uh, walk along, and I will be back in a bit once we're at the boat. I did have a look. There aren't that many zombies. I think I only took out two in total, so I think we'll be all right. Uh, if as long as we kind of stick to the coastline and we go through the woods, we should be all right avoiding them. There weren't many up near the coast. They were all kind of down there still, so we should be all right. Right, here we go, back of the boat. Oh, it's so dark. Super dark. Right. Now we need to somehow hope that this works, even though we're holding the generator in our hands. It does. Let's raise the anchor. Uh, sail on the right-hand side. Let's try and turn around. The wind should hopefully be going in the right direction. Okay, huzzah, here we go. I think it's uh, that direction. Okay, we should be alright. Should be able to get back. There we go, there's our nets. Let's just cushy up. Uh, we'll go a little bit up, probably where that tree is. That looks like a good place. There we go. Um, move the sails. That's perfect, I think. And the house is just there. This is great. Get off the boat. We did it. We've got a generator, we got off the boat, and we got back. Oh. Oh, that's terrific. Oh, I can't believe we did that. We're going to want to position this generator on the on the top floor above for now, just because I've heard that it's a bit finickety putting a generator on the ground floor on, pre -made, on like, O-made bases. So we're probably going to put it, for the time being, here. It'll probably be moved at some point. Drop it down. Drop. Connect the generator up. Right, so we've connected it, generated info, it's 100%, we've got zero fuel, that's fine. Can we add any fuel? I think we've, uh, I think all the fuel's back there, that's fine. Right, well we did it. I think we've got everything we needed, which is amazing. We've got the propane, we've got some decorations, we've got all sorts of random stuff. Barry's still doing alright, how are you doing Barry? Right, you can um, go with the cookies. There, have, have, have some fun. Have something to eat, you, you deserve it. You've been through a lot. Yes, yeah, so I've been told if you shift left click on transfer all, basically what it will do is transfer everything into the assigned containers. 
So yeah, everything has been that's been assigned. So crafting has gone in there, metalizing has gone in there, tailoring's gone in there. So that's great. So that's a really, really useful thing you can do with this mod. I'm really glad about that. I need to check on my my uh onions. I'm worried about them. <gasps> we can harvest them. Oh good, thank god. I was worried they're all dead. Um oh it looks like some of the I left the carrots too long. Okay, well that's um that's a shame, but we've got plenty of carrots. We don't have plenty of onions. And we've gone up a level. Woo! Level in farming. We've got 26 seeds. That's um that's incredible. I think we've actually got enough to put it in a full pack now, which is nice. And we put it all into a pack, put onion seeds into a pack. Hey! Brilliant. Sure, let's make a soup. Uh before we go. I'm gonna make a tasty, tasty soup. Do we have any thing like salt and pepper on us still? No, of course not. Of course we still don't have any salt and pepper. Let's go grab some salt and pepper. And we'll end the episode doing a little bit of cooking. Need to check our traps as well, actually, here. We could potentially add some more stuff. We could add some uh, fish and things to it. That'd be nice. Right, well, we've got little bait fish alive. We've got some eels, river crabs, algae. Nice. Right, let's take some bits and bobs then. Let's take whatever. We got. A, we picked up a leash as well for Barry. So Barry's now got a leash. I don't think it's needed, but I thought it was quite funny just to have. Um, right, okay. Uh open sign yes we obviously we need the open sign what else do we need we salt and pepper we keep leaving the salt and pepper behind but all this flour as well that i need to take and we've got this blunt magazine that i need to take as well we'll take that quickly got all these bowls we've got the paint that we've got so what do we do we've got red and yellow so what do we actually need to make the orange we just need a sturdy stick and empty bucket all right and how full are they they're both full that's cool I should have filled up the gas cans before I came, but there wasn't really much. Well, there was some space, actually. I should have just filled them up, because then we could have had full gas here, but I chose not to for some stupid reason. Oh, there's pepper. There's the salt. Right. There we go. Right. So, we've got all sorts of random stuff. I don't think any of this is useful. We can at least cook it up, and potentially, if there's an option to add it to the soup, we'll add it to the soup. But if not, we'll just chuck it away. Worst comes to worst, it, just, it does act as cooking experience for us, even if we just cook it and then um, compost it. Right, okay. Fast forward a little bit. Cooking pot. Right, create a stew. Okay, we can add the river crab to the stew. That's nice. Uh, all of this is uncooked for now. We will grab the stew onions. That's now cooked. Oh, we leveled up. In what? Cooking, we're level three. Okay, great. Right, okay. So soup, what can we add? Dead river crab. Nice. We'll add uh, pepper as a spice. We'll add tomatoes. Carrots. Carrots and crab doesn't seem like it'd go very well, but well. Uh, salt as a spice. Some more onions. You can never really go wrong with too many onions. Random meat. And there we go. We're good. Just chuck that on. This is going to be a good stew. Okay, there we go. Make two bowls of it. We're going to put out the fire. Look at that. A bowl has minus 22 unhappiness, minus 7 hunger, minus 2 boredom, minus 12 unhappiness. That is a nice soup to have, especially after that long trek. And we're nice and full. Excellent. We'll chuck the dead eel and that in here. Same with that. We've got loads of onions. We could probably pickle them as well. I think we did We did do some jarred onions already. It would be nice to do some more of them. That would be nice. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We actually made our way back. Uh, it's a shame about our uh, dead carrots here. And I think they were cabbages. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. We do... Ha oh, it's potatoes. That was it. Oh, that's sad. We do have quite a lot of packs of potatoes, though, so I think it's okay. Not too bad. Um, at least we got the onions, and that was the thing I was worried about, because if we'd lost them, that would have been a majority of our crop just gone. So, yeah. But we got it all. We have got we got back. We got everything. We've tied the boat up. I'm, I was a bit of an idiot, and I should have really got more tires. So I was going to do more, but there were just too many zombies around where all the cars were, so I had to I had to pack up and leave. But I was, I was going to go grab some, but I just didn't have the chance. So next excursion, I will definitely get some more tires so we can make a proper port. But I'm going to need a lot. To, to make a single to make a single pontoon, you need one tire tube. So I'm going to need to take apart like 20 cars to get like a proper decent port going. So uh, yeah, but we, we will see. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like with him, please leave a like and subscribe. A mass thank you to all my patrons, Seth Pet Overlord South, Drew Clint, David, Aaron, Dale, Mikhail, Emma, Yeast, De Blog, Rai, Kylara, Daniel, Len, Wolf, AJ, and Andrew. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are just amazing. I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, we're going to finish this off with a with a nice beer. 
I think Barry, you you come too. Barry, you could probably do with it. Could you have? Yeah, you. Well, you you prefer the hard stuff, don't you? Yeah, fine. Let's grab you some bourbon. All right, and let's let's just go sit down and relax for a bit before we just pass out from from tiredness. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Barry and Logan enjoying their hard-earned beverage. Ugh, tasty, tasty. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.